everything happening and uh, got a whole house. It's good to see everybody. I'm going to do this real quick. Say good night, Tom Boy, and the cat and the dog is uh, on the bed. Actually, I think they're just playing right now. But uh, it's good to see everybody. It's good to have everybody in the house tonight. And uh, it's good to be with everybody on this Wednesday night. And uh, we're going to get started here. But I want to get started with something kind of special. You know, every now and then in life, you, you do something right. Every now and then in life, you, you feel like uh, you hit the home run and put it over the big fence, and, and uh, it just makes you feel good. And I want to share something with you, and I want to share with you a video first. And I hope everybody can see this video screen. Can everybody see the video screen that I just brought up? Can everybody see that? And I'm going to click play. All right, everybody said yes, 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 and I'm going to hit play, and you should see the video coming up. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm in tears too for 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 for, for, for a lot of reasons. Um, how, how many how 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 many of you know where that video came from? Some of you do. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna read something to you. I've been crying for 20 minutes, and it's only been posted for 10, if that tells you anything. I don't want to hear another excuse of why somebody can't get off their ass and go to work. I don't want to hear another reason why anybody can't. Don't even pick up a phone and call me and tell me you can't. Don't ever wake up in the morning again and look in the mirror and say, today's not going to happen. Don't ever stop in the day, middle of the day and say, you know what, I've tried and I've tried and I've tried and I've got so many things on my plate. I just can't do this. Because it's not true. If you say you can't, I will tell you right now, you're just absolutely lazy and won't go do it. If you say you can't go out and make it happen, I will tell you right now, you're just absolutely lazy and won't go out and do it. And I want to read this post. And when I read this post and you see what the driving factor is behind people, you will see what I'm talking about. You see, this is what happens in business. We make it about us. That's why we don't succeed. We make it about who we are. That's why we fail. We don't make it about what it's really about and those that are, are around us. And with that said, I'm going to read this and then we're going to get into trading. 
But please don't ever, ever call me and say I can't. Because I will start sending you to people who have a lot tougher circumstances that you ever thought of that are making it happen. People that are finding ways, who are getting outside the box, doing whatever they have to do to make it happen. I'm smiling, skipping, and singing all the way to the bank. I just closed another deal this evening with a local travel agent. I posted this video ad below geared towards travel agents in a Facebook group I'm a member of late last night. And I had a message this afternoon. They wanted a video ad made and I told them in order to maximize exposure for their video ad, they needed the digital business card. They chose both. Sometimes you have to be creative in structuring the deal. One deal last week and another today. I have five-year-old twin boys with autism and they attend a private school. Between last week and this week, I have enough funds to pay for my boys' school tuition next month. The sky is the limit. Thank you, IAW. And thank you, Carrie. Christy Brown posted a video last week, and I know it got a lot of attention because it was really, really good. Probably one of the best videos I've seen created, and she posted some of the tools that, yeah, it's awesome. It's real awesome. And, uh, she posted the tools, uh, the, the, some of the stuff that she used to make that video, and uh, I, it got a lot of attention. I don't care what you have to do. <laughs> I love you, Christy Brown. She's a Texan, too, by the way. She don't live too far from me. She lives over in Wiley, about 45 minutes. I can see now we're going to have to have lunch together so I can cry at her table. But she's doing what she has to do to make it happen. She's working hard. She's putting in late nights. She's giving it everything she's got. If she can do it, you can do it. That's right. She has found her why. And I want to tell you right now, her why right now is those two twin boys. Christy, I want to thank you for sharing that and for allowing that to be it. I know you didn't know I was going to open the presentation with that. But I want to thank you for your hard work. I want to thank you for your commitment. Not to be or the instant app wizard. But uh, thank you. Yeah, Brandy Kleenex, that's for sure. But your commitment to your family. Your commitment to your family. And with that said, let me roll. I can't handle much more. But I want to thank each and every one of you for all your hard work. Christy, I want to thank you for being my inspiration to move forward and do the things that I do. And that's helped teach you what direction you need to go. So welcome to Wednesday Night Coaching. I know it started off a little bit different, so we might go over a few minutes if that's all right. But uh, what an awesome way to start the night with success. We all have success in our hearts. We just have to reach in and pull it out and, uh, and make it happen. And uh, so for all of you that are listening to this, I apologize for saying get off your ass, but I did mean it. So with that said, we are now in the school room, and let's rock and roll. I'm using the uh, system on the uh, on the platform tonight, so hopefully it works okay. This is all straight from our new webinar system, the, the presentation and everything. So let's take care of our housekeeping. Uh, if you have not joined our YouTube channel, join our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash is wizard. 
And if you have not joined our Facebook group, join our Facebook group at facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash instant app wizard. There's a lot of good things that happen in that group. And I'm going to tell you, if it wasn't for that group, I would not have read what I read and it would not have given me the inspiration it gave me to go, go forward with the things I want to do. So join that group. You have to have a Facebook page to do that, but join that group. Tonight we're going to talk about marketing. And we're going to talk about marketing these coupon apps. And I want to tell you now, and, and I say this often, let me expand my screen here just a little bit. If you want to make good money, if you want to make a lot of money, if you just want to go out and make uh, money for your for your kids' tuition for college or for school or whatever you want to do, you can do it this platform and with the things that I'm teaching you. The mobile business card has been a staple in my life uh, for for two and a half years now. I, I don't I haven't sold anything else but the mobile business card. I don't sell full blown apps. I don't get out of the wheelhouse. I stay and do what I do. And the coupon apps. And now everybody's going to text me. And say, hey, Carrie, thank you. You're crying. <laughs> Let me turn it off. Thank you for texting me and saying that. Um, but uh, coupon apps, I'm telling you, will make you a lot of money this year. Uh, we are wrapping up multiple keywords that will be coming out very soon. Uh, I'm hoping within the next couple of days. Multiple keywords is just around the corner. We're finishing up the programming now. Coupon apps marketing, you have to market to coupon app or you will not make any money. I'm going to tell you now, listen what I'm fixing to tell you. If you don't do anything to drive business, if you don't do anything to, to bring customers back to someone, you're not marketing anything. You're out selling a product. Uh, you're not showing them how to bring business in. You're not showing them what video marketing can do with them combined with their app and put the whole tools together so that they can bring business new customers into their business that's what we are we are marketing professionals we are here to do one thing and that's help our clients do what achieve success by bringing customers into their doors or helping them to sell online or wherever their customer base is and we are here to help them grow their business and make more money we are here for nothing else and if you're here for anything else you're probably here for the wrong reason because you're not doing your clients any good you just as well drive up and down the road, throw money out the window, and, 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 and figure out something else to do. Because you have to be successful as a marketer by helping others be successful. Does everybody understand that? Does everybody understand where I'm coming from when I say we are marketers? We are there to help them market their business. We are there to help them grow their business and do the things that they have to do. Absolutely. And we do. Okay? You just need a few simple tools to market your app. Now, you can go out and you can buy all the crap you want to buy. I used to be a crap buyer, okay? I used to buy every single thing that came out in JVZoo and everything else to, to, to help me market. I use only a few simple tools now, and everything I use is coupled with Instant App Wizard, with the exception of a funnel builder that I use that I've been using forever called Insta Builder. That's what I use. Okay? And and now they're putting a funnel inside Get Response. So guess what? I'm probably going to do away with Insta Builder. I keep it simple. I like to keep it simple. And in order to market, if you don't keep it simple, it's going to be convoluted and complicated and you're going to confuse everyone and no one's going to know what direction you're going. Your clients are going to get lost and you're going to lose money. So tonight we're going to keep it simple because why? Carrie keeps it simple and Carrie just uses a few simple tools to make a living. As I said in my little house. Text marketing. If you're not willing to jump into text marketing, your coupon apps are going to fail. Does everybody understand that? If you're not willing to spend a little bit of money, and I can tell you Will Sims is having great success, okay, with his text program, with his uh, uh, coupon program out in Clovis, New Mexico. I'm sure if you're following his page, if you're not, I recommend you follow his page, Clovis, New Mexico, and see the things that he's doing because he's doing it right. 
But you have to have text marketing. We've got the new short code system with the keywords. You can go in and you can build your platform and you can get your list built. Email marketing, even though email marketing is slightly a bit slower than text marketing, you want to have that backup because people do read their email. Actually, they're saying that people are really starting to read their email a lot more. Why? Because of the mobile phone. People are reading their emails more because they don't have to go home. They don't forget about it. They don't walk in the house and they walk in and what is what is there on their phone? Their email. So they're getting their text immediately, and then when they go on break, they're checking their emails. Most people have email alerts set up on their phone so that when an email come across, they see it on the face of their phone, and if it's something they want, like a coupon, so that they can go to lunch, guess what they're going to do? They're going to open that email. I get my email alerts constantly because I have it turned on. Actually, you have to turn email alerts off, just like you have to turn text alerts off. That's why text and email is the best push notifications ever. How many of you turn off the push notifications on your phone as soon as you download an app because it drives you up the stinking wall? You absolutely want to throw your phone out, get out in your car, and drive over it 57,000 times because the push notifications won't stop. Yes, absolutely. And everybody here is saying, me, 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 yes, 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 I do, I do. And absolutely you do. But guess what you don't turn off? You will not turn off your email notifications and you will not turn off your text notifications. And when you're talking to someone about uh, uh, between the difference between uh, native apps and web apps, this is a huge thing you need to discuss with them. People are going to turn you off if you want to go out and spend $60,000 on a native app because they don't want to listen to that over and over and over again because it's annoying. And I can promise you, I hate to be annoyed. I hate it. it. Drives me crazy. Okay? Right now, Facebook and Twitter, the number one place to see Facebook and Twitter is on the mobile phone. It's something like 87% of the people now <clears throat> don't even get on their computer and use Facebook. Would you say that, Carrie, that is a pretty large piece of the market? Would you say right now, Carrie, you know what? <laughs> if 87 people are looking at Facebook on their phone, then I probably need to use Facebook marketing on the, on the mobile phones. And you need to use that Facebook marketing. We're going to talk about it just a little bit. We just went through like three or four weeks of nothing but local Facebook marketing. If you're not using it, shame on you. You're cheating your customers. I had somebody call me the other day and said, Carrie, I can't afford $5 a day for for uh, Facebook marketing. I, 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 I said, that $5 a day is going to triple your income. Why would you not? If you don't have $35 a week to spend on Facebook marketing, you need to look at your budget and you need to sit down and you need to quit eating that candy bar and that soda and that extra scoop of ice cream and all that other stuff that's unhealthy for you anyway. You need to find that $35 a week that you're throwing out the window anyway and build your business. You need to do that. And I'm going to tell you right now, as soon as this training's over, because I got $35, I'm going to the, to the Brahms to get me some ice cream. But you've got to find that money. You have got to market yourself. You've got to market your app and Twitter marketing. And, and, and we're going to go through some more marketing stuff over the next few days, and then we're going to get into Twitter just a little bit. You can buy paid apps on Twitter. There's some things that you can do with Twitter to really get Twitter. Twitter's really starting to get hot with young people. They're almost using it as a game to keep people informed, just like they're doing with Facebook. Twitter's really starting to pick up steam now. You know, it's been out there forever, and people just thought it was for the news media and that kind of stuff. People are starting to realize, wait a minute, Twitter's pretty cool. I can, I can throw short messages out there, and people will get their alerts, and I can see it immediately. You've got to do all those things. Text marketing, email marketing, Facebook marketing, and Twitter marketing, and it's going to cost you a little bit of money. How many of you have $100 a month to put into your business? For marketing. How many of you have $100 a month to put in your business for marketing? Yeah, everybody. Everybody said yes. Then you better be doing it. Christy, is your marketing efforts paying off right now? 
I, I see Christy Brown's in the thing. Matter of fact, she's been texting me a little bit in here. That's why I'm crying still. But heck yes, yeah, she said. Listen, she used a thing that 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 Woodrow sent out. I don't know. Hell, it's been been two or three weeks, maybe a month, maybe two months. Called 100 Blueprinting Secrets or something like that. Okay. She used that. Guess what she started doing? She started sending out 50 postcards a week. And it started bringing, her phone was starting to ring. And she's building her business. She's doing it right, but she knew she had to spend some money. Postcards aren't cheap. But she knew she had to spend some money to get her business rolling. Now she's got customers coming in. She is really building a marketing company. I'm very, very proud of her. I'm watching her on Facebook. I'm very proud of what she's doing because she's doing it right. She's not selling mobile apps. She's a marketing company. And what is she doing when, when, a, when a customer receives that postcard or when they see that high-tech hot video? That video was awesome. I swear that made me want to get on that plane and go somewhere and lay on a beach and, 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 and do my thing. But let me tell you something. When someone is putting that kind of time, that kind of effort, and time and effort also equals money, that means that they are doing it right. And you've got to do that. You've got to do that. Where can the tool be found to send out your marketing data? Hey, Dennis Barry, how you doing, my friend? Where can the tool be found that sends out your marketing data? Where is that tool? The marketing platform. Absolutely. The marketing platform. Where is the marketing platform? And you probably say, well, Carrie, this is kind of basic information. You'd be absolutely amazing how many emails or phone calls or text messages I can get a week saying, could you tell me where the marketing platform is? Is that right, Tom Miles? <laughs> I won't pick on Tom because he's asked me several times. That's right. It's up in the messaging center. It's inside the control panel. Tom said, not anymore. I'm using that bad boy making money. It's in the messaging center, okay? And you click on the messaging center, and you go up and you click on send new message. And you go in and you type in your message, and you click text subscribers, email subscribers, post on Facebook and post on Twitter, okay? If you've got an enterprise account, you have to set up your own APIs, and we have videos to show you how to do that. But if you don't, it's connected to our API, and all you have to do is connect to your Facebook and your Twitter and what page you want it to go to. Very, very simple. You will not find a marketing platform in the world that's built into an app system like this anywhere that's connected to text, email, posting on Facebook. And post. Now, you can go out and buy multiple systems and spend more money than, than you should, and hopefully that they'll all work. But you won't find anywhere where you can market from inside a system like you can with this platform and you don't need anything else. Quit wasting your money every time you get a JB Zoo email and say, oh, man, this will help me. And then you look in your JB Zoo folder and you got 57,000 things that you spent about $20,000 on and you're not using any of them. Take that $100 a month that you're spending on JB Zoo, and I'm not knocking JB Zoo. I've bought some nice things out of there. Tom Miles says thousands of dollars. I'm not knocking JB Zoo, and I'm not. I, and I use some of the stuff that I get from JB Zoo. Neil Napier puts out great product. Mark Thompson puts out exceptional marketing products that I use for internal tracking. There's guys out there that do it right, and there's guys out there that do it wrong. But what I'm telling you is, is quit being those a junkie of buying everything online and use that for your own business. You're in business now. To build your business so that you can build what? So that you can build your list. The marketing platform can and will make you more recurring income than anything out there. Has everybody got that? You, 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 more recurring income than anything out there. That's right. Will Sims said I stopped opening emails and started building my business. And Will Sims is building a business. Income than anything out there, than anything you can do or will do. 
That marketing platform is your key to success for recurring income, period. There's nothing that will make you more money than that marketing platform. Yeah, see, to me, the marketing platform is the nucleus of your coupon program. It is the center of the universe when it comes to that coupon program. It's the center of the universe when it comes to that mobile app. Because that is the one thing that will make you income over and over and over again. And if you do it correctly, like I'm fixing to tell you to do, you will never, ever lose a customer. You know what breaks my heart? And, and when I see it, I just, I'm just, it just, it tears me up. When I see someone cancel texting for, for an app, that tells me right then and there that you failed. Not your customer, not your business you failed and the reason you failed is is because you did not properly set up that texting program and work with your customer and help him build his list so that he has recurring customers month after not month and that that platform returns his investment plus just like you sold it to him but you left him hanging out there like somebody hanging in the wind and guess what happened he was losing money, and we don't want to lose money. We don't want to lose money. But, and there's always a but, isn't there? Isn't there always a but? Isn't there always something? You say, well, Carrie, you've been so positive. Carrie, this has been such a positive trading. But, there is always a but. That's why I put it in big black letters. There's always a but, always. It will take you absolutely nothing if you don't use it. How many of you cranked your car today? How many of you went outside, walked into your car, got in your car, and cranked your car today? How many of you? How many of you actually got in your car and went somewhere? Everybody say yes, 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 yes. Believe it or not, I have gone absolutely nowhere today, but I'm going to. Absolutely many places. Would your car have got you where you wanted to go if you didn't put gas in it? If you didn't put something in, could you have got to where you wanted to go? Absolutely not. If it's sitting in a driveway on empty, you might as well throw the keys away or tell me to come get it. You've got to put something in to get something out, and in order to get something out of that marketing platform, you've got to put something into it. You've got to put in some time. And that sucker will make you somebody over and over and over and over and over again. Wouldn't it be nice to have a 1,000 customers and you was making 25 to $50 a month just off of those customers? Or if you had 100 customers and you was making $2,500 a month off of every one of those customers, wouldn't that be nice? With the marketing platform, if you will get off your butt and go do it, you won't have this happen. You won't lose money. The marketing platform is where you have to be. I bet I can go on 50% of the people that's on this call tonight and you don't have texting on your coupon app. You don't have to say yes or no. I can go look if I wanted to. You do not have texting on your coupon app, which means to me that you're not serious about building that business and you're not serious about making the money you want to make because you have got to build that directory. You've got to build a list on that directory to make it happen. I will tell you what Will Sims did, and it blew my mind because I probably, I don't even know if I'd have done this. About two weeks ago, I think it was, he went in and closed the deal. He put texting on an app before he got there and started building the list and walked in with a list built for this customer and closed the deal. That's pretty ballsy. You know, that, I mean, that's, 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 uh, that's, 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 uh, 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 uh you got to be confident. And I don't know if he was confident or not, but I know it worked. You see, he put something in it 
to get something out, and I think he closed the deal. I think I can't remember twelve hundred bucks or something like that. He claimed it. That's right, BK. He claimed it. He walked out of the house and he claimed it. He knew it was going to happen. He knew it was there. He had it sold before he walked out the door. You're right, BK. Sorry, I almost got up on the church box. He claimed it. That's exactly right. Smart man, not afraid to gamble. That's right. How do you build your list? I get asked this all the time. And, and I, I'll tell you, uh, Will and I have been working together for about two months now, ever since I started this coupon thing. I love Will to death. Will quit one time. He called me on the phone. He said, Kerry, he said, I don't want to quit. He said, I want to keep going. What do I do? I said, get into mobile business cards. He did, and now he's, he's successful. He knew this was the place he wanted to go because he wants to get out of the HVAC business. But how do you build your list? It's not difficult. But you got to go somewhere to get somewhere, and you got to make it happen. Texting an email. Simply ask people if they would like to get coupons via text and email. Is that difficult? And that don't cost you nothing but a little bit, bit of breath of air. Now, for some, that may be tough, like me, since I'm a fat boy. But you know what? If I open my mouth and ask, you ask enough people, they're going to sign up. You've got to build your directory. Will and I was talking. I said, think about this. If everybody would just go do this, if everybody went out and got 100 people on your directory, do you not think that if you walked into uh, Johnny's Pizza and somebody posted a deal about pizza places the other day in the, in the group about how so many of them are failing because they cannot keep up with the big boys. They can't keep up with the pizza huts and the dominoes because they can't afford texting. They can't afford the things that these companies are doing. They can if you would get out there and sell it to them. But all you got to do is simply ask, and what if you walked in with your mobile directory? I'm not talking about their coupon app. I'm talking about your directory. And you walk in, you said, hey, Carrie, my, name, my, uh, my name's Tom Miles, and, and I just want to stop by. I have a coupon directory in the area that I already have a list of about 300 people that I would like to market your business to with your permission. What's he going to say? Are they local? Yes, they are. All of our business, all of our coupons are local when we go to an area. Everything is local. Can I see your list? Absolutely you can. All you got to do is log into your marketing platform and show it to him live on the spot. What are you doing? You're educating him. Log into the platform right from your smartphone. Show it to him. Yes, sir. Here's, here's the list that I'm going to be sending out your coupons to. That is awesome. Why do people advertise in newspapers? Because they already have readership. They already have people that read the newspaper, so they're hoping that somebody stumbles across their ad. What do you have if you walk in there and you've already built your directory list? Because you went out and did simply this. Ask people to join the local coupon directory. And they're going to get a text message every week that tells them that there's specials in the area. Do you not think that those customers... Would, would, would jump all over that? Do you not think that that person is going to think for a minute, wait a minute, I spent it $300 a month at the newspaper, and I don't know who's reading my ads. This guy's got a targeted list of 300 people, and which direction do you think he's going to go? And you might want to uh, uh, stimulate his brain a little bit and tell him that. Simply ask people, how many of you go to Walmart? How many of you go to the store? How many of you go to the grocery store? How many of you go out to eat? Does anybody here actually go somewhere and do something other than like me and sit at home and work all day? Does anybody here have a life where you actually go out and you interact with people? Absolutely. Tom said he loves to eat. Me too, buddy. A lot. Yes, you do. Now, when you're walking through, and I'll I, I tell you a, a story real quick for those of you that, that know me. You may have heard this story. When I first started my roofing company, my sales guys were scared to death to talk to people. I went to Saltgrass Steakhouse. I took them out to lunch one day. 
<clears throat> at lunchtime at Sawgrass Steakhouse in Rockwall, Texas. Christy probably knows where this is at. Setting up on the hill next to Gingas, which is my other second favorite place at Rockwall to eat. And, and I walked into uh, I walked into uh, uh, Sawgrass Steakhouse, and this is this is before mobile apps even. This was before I even knew what a mobile app was. And I walked in there with 500 business cards. I said, guys, I said, you're going to do exactly what I'm going to do. And I walked in there with an entire box of business cards. They probably had 300 people there at lunch. And I said, y'all stand right here before we get a table and watch exactly what I'm fixing to do. I walked to every single person in that place, including the waitresses, the management, everybody. I introduced myself, and I gave them a business card. If there was four people sitting at the table, I gave all four of them a business card. Our business started exploding in Rockwall, Texas. And we started asking people, where'd you hear about us? I don't know, some crazy guy cut me salt grass and gave me a business card and we had a storm over here and we need a roof. Technology's changed just a little bit thanks to the mobile business card. I don't have to do that anymore. Now I get to walk around and say, hey, would you like to get on my coupon list? We have special coupons right here in this local area. Would you like to join? Absolutely. We're going to send you a text message a month. If you would, just type your phone number, your, your, your number right here in my phone. Yes, sir. And you go, what are you going to send to him? You're going to send him a coupon. Now, what are those people also that are sitting there? Who are those people that are sitting there at lunchtime? What do they do? If they're sitting at salt grass eating lunch, what do they do? They own businesses. <laughs> they're business people. They're realtors. They're, they're insurance agents. They're, they're, they're business owners. They're lawn keepers. They're pool maintenance guys. They all own a business. When you walk into McDonald's, you need to ask them the same thing. Hey. Would you like to sign up for our local coupon program? Some people are going to tell you no. Some people may say use some choice words. Take them anyway. Make sure you let them know that your coupon name is couponapps.com. <laughs> Make sure they know who you are before they leave after they cuss you out. But it doesn't matter because you're going to save somebody a lot of money. Postcards. Okay. Yes, I would market the coupon directory even if I don't have anything in it. You could go out in one week and get two or 300 people to sign up, and what are you going to do the next week? You're going to go out and get 25 people to put their coupons in there because you've already got a directory built. Absolutely, I would. Yes, sir, absolutely. Postcards. Mail postcards every single week. I put this in here because why? Because I know it works because Christy proved it worked. Yes, I'm high on Christy today. Christy proved it worked. She just typed in, yes, it works. Mail postcards every week, set a budget, put your short code and your keyword on it, and be your, sure your response sends back your app. Make sure it does, because now that they're on your list, this is what I'm fixing to tell you. Let's clear your coupon app brain for just a second. Your marketers. You're going after people who you're going after people who uh, uh, are business owners. Wouldn't it be nice to have them on your list? That postcard, that nice looking postcard, is sitting on their desk, and it says "Text Carry to two one seven two six or whatever it is." You know, text, text, text it. Do I use the postcards in the back office? No, I create, create my own postcards. Go to Fiverr. Make some really nice postcards. You can use the postcards in the back office, but I don't. Create some really nice looking postcards. Okay, Uzine, one of the hottest programs out there right now. Um, creates beautiful postcards. Matter of fact, Christy created hers in Uzine. Kitty Dutton uses it all the time. Mail your postcards every week. Set a budget. Put your short code and keyword on it. Be sure your response sends back the coupon app. All right.
this is something you have got to do. This is something you've got to do. The most important thing you can do is help your clients build their list. You have got to help your clients build their list. Has everybody got that? You have got to help your clients build that list. Think about this for a moment. You take an evening, you're going to go there to eat dinner, or you go in there, or you buy a pair of jeans, or you're going to go in there and get your car washed, or whatever you're going to do. Go there when they're busy and walk over to the owner and say, hey, hey, Carrie, I'm here to help you build your list today. I'm going to talk to your customers so that we can get, get people on your list so we can start sending their coupons out. Do you not think he's going to hug you, love you, kiss you, and, 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 and want you there? Absolutely, he will. Now, put on your marketing business owner cap and think about this. Every time somebody signs up, that's five cents. Every time somebody signs up, it's five cents in your pocket. Wouldn't it be nice to go out and get 100,000 people signing up every day? Wouldn't it be nice to start building that list and getting that money rolling in every single day, getting them on a 10,000 list? Get your, get your coupon directory up to 10 or 15, 20,000 people for an area. Do you not think that that is not worth a fortune to these business owners? Absolutely, it is. It absolutely is. Put signage on your vehicles. Does everybody know what window screens are? Yep, that's exactly right, Jacques. Jacques said, what do you put on there? Get local coupons right on your phone for free. Text Jacques. To, that's exactly right. Tell him to text whatever, whatever it is. I'll go back to my early roofing days before I got the app. I put a window screen on the back of my brand new Ford pickup truck that had my roofing company name on it, and I drove around Dallas constantly. I'd burn two or three tanks of gas and our phone would ring, ring, ring because people would call the phone number that was on the back of my window of my truck. Does anybody know why businesses put information on the sides of their trucks and the vehicles? To make the phone ring. Peg Jacques to 27126. It works. It does work. Put the signage on your vehicles. Go get your whole car wrapped. It's a tax write-off. Let your clients know. Table tents, window decals. I have people call me all the time. This is from Vistaprint, okay? And I put this on here for a reason. Some places it's hard to find good-sized window decals and, and professionally done window decals. Vista print, it's about $12.50 for a high quality window decal. And what how do I sell that? How do I send a sell a window decal if I spend $12.50 for it? How, what, what is my price if I spend $12.50? $25. $25. $425. Absolutely. And and just go to Vista print and type in window decals. And when you type in window decals, it'll bring up the window decal creator. Now, you can create your own. You can make some really cool looking graphics in a UZI. And you take those really hot graphics and you can build your own or you can take their design. Okay? Either way, it works. I promise you. Either way, it works. Bottom line, you must work to build your list. But unlike traditional list building methods, you must use retail methods to make it happen. Does everybody understand what I mean by retail methods? When you walk into Walmart, what do you see everywhere? When you walk into Walmart, 
you don't you don't see uh you don't see a, a computer screen and you don't see yeah you see signage you must use retail methods does everybody know what suggestive selling is suggestive selling is a retail method of marketing suggestive selling put McDonald's on the map with apple pies I don't know if you know that but McDonald's sold more apple pies than any other company in the world I simply this would you like an apple pie to go with your order today very simple now today when you walk into a store especially clothing stores could we get your phone number what do you need that for we're going to send you our specials absolutely suggestive selling suggestive selling is the number one form of selling in the retail market suggestive selling I go to a little store it's called dollar store or something dollar everything's a dollar I love going in there I usually spend 15 or 20 bucks and everything's a dollar okay at the counter they've got candy bars and this one girl she she works there and, and, and she, she, you sit back and watch her she asks every single person coming through that line if they want a candy bar and because she asked me I do it because I feel bad if I don't and you can sit back and watch it I bet that girl sells 300 400 candy bars a week through suggestive selling ask and people will do it ask them to join your coupon list and people will do it ask them for their email address and people will give it ask them to help and people will do it that's the kind of society we live in everybody's looking for deals you've got to use the retail methods to market okay very 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 important retail methods are extremely important in marketing your coupon app you're marketing for what coup uh, retail businesses right and you must use local social marketing to build your list how many of you how many of you have watched the uh, uh, training Jock Jock went to a Chamber of Commerce lunch today got six leads local social local social marketing will make you a lot of money with your coupons I promise you will make you a lot of money now this is what you need to, need to do to build your directory you need to do that same local marketing with your short code and your keyword to build up your local directory you need to do that every day you need those ads going out every day set you a five dollar budget that's the minimum ad budget for uh, Facebook follow my training exactly put your ads in there with your keyword and your short code and start building your local directory so that you can walk in to Carrie's Pizza and say look look what I got I got a list of 400 people right here from Commerce Texas that I can market to starting tomorrow all we got to do is get you signed up under our coupon program what's that gonna cost me $99 a month we're gonna send out your ad we're gonna send out uh, the, the local directory every month I mean every week you can send yours out once a month, twice a month, three times a month, or four times a month, or how many ever times you want to do it. And you start building their list. Now, what happens when you start marketing to your directory and carries pizzas in there? And you set it up the way I set it up, or similar to what I set up? What are people going to start doing? That's right. If they're going to start signing up for the coupons they want from these companies. You spend a few pennies to get a few dollars every single month from every single customer you got. And next thing you know, that few dollars grows into $50 and $100 and $200 and $300 and $1,000, $10,000 and $100,000. Next thing you know, you're doing your six or seven figures a year. 
And it just doesn't work with the coupon app. You should have been marketing your own app business this way from the get-go. But you must use local social marketing to your list. Your short code and keyword need to be on everything you do in your local communities where you are building your coupon program. It needs to be on every single thing that you do. Everybody's heard me talk about this for the last several weeks. Does everybody know what Wednesdays is for a certain company? Does everybody here know what Wednesdays is for a certain company that I look forward to every week? Sonic. That's right. But you guys pay very you guys very pay, pay very close attention to what I say. Sonic. And today was what? Today was Dollar Hot Dog Day. And I love Sonic hot dogs. And guess what I had today for lunch? I had an All-American and a chili cheese. Yep, tomorrow's half off shakes for St. Patty's, absolutely. And they got the best shakes. Matter of fact, I'm going to Sonic when I get off here. You see, coupon, I'm sorry, going to Bravs. I got that changed real quick. <laughs> Short codes and keywords work. That's how I signed up. And guess where it was at? It was on that little sign when you walk in, well, drive in there, and you push that little button. You say, I want a number one with uh, hickory sauce. No cheese, onion rings, and a root beer with no ice. You see, coupon marketing works. You individuals on this call have it in the palm of your hand. <laughs> well, said he stole their sign to show their customers. Absolutely. Yes, and I do get a root beer float. Matter of fact, that's what I was going to get tonight. But I do love their root beer floats. I get them often. A large. I think it's like five bucks for a large. But uh, you don't have to be elaborate. You don't have to do what Samsung did and put a camera in the front of the truck with a big screen TV in the back of the truck and have people follow you around. You don't have to do that, okay? But I can promise you, when you're behind that truck and you see that big screen and you see Samsung above it, what's the first TV you're going to look at when you go to the store? You're going to look at a Samsung. I can promise you, you're going to look at a Samsung. And what Samsung is actually portraying in this is new technology to stop people from passing the big trucks on the road and save lives but you don't have to go to that extreme but what a great advertising tool is to put a big Samsung flat screen on the back of a truck and a camera on the front so that you can see that car coming and you don't pass them and get killed you don't have to drive around in the weenie mobile okay now I would love to drive around in the weenie mobile but you don't have to do that you don't have to go do all those kind of things no, I didn't know Bugatti was going to the TV business, but uh, Mike Cahill sent me a picture of one today, and, and, and BK sent me a picture of one today that I want so bad I can't stand it. But you don't have to be that elaborate to get people's attention, okay? But does that get your attention? Absolutely. So do something out of the box. Woodrow did a clown ad, and I'll have to post it back in Facebook. I'll have to find it. It's the funniest thing I ever seen. I've laughed so hard that 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 I cried. And so that ad is so funny. And we get a lot of business for 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 uh, for the company off of that ad. Kenny Dutton does some great. If you've seen his little fireside chats, I mean they're great videos. They're very attention getting. You know, do something off the wall. Christy Brown's do that. I'll tell you right now, if I if, if if I didn't do my own videos, I'd hire Christy Brown tomorrow to do my videos. Her videos are exceptional. If you need somebody to do your videos, pick up the phone and call Christy. She does exceptional videos. And these lists will continually make you recurring income month after month after month. Your coupon business will be off the charts. You don't need to go out and sell 10 coupons a day. Build this business slowly and methodically. Make sure your customers are taken care of, and you don't need 10,000 customers. 
go out and get the business going, build it. You got to pay attention to what you're doing with this coupon program. And in between, sell business cards. I build them every day. First thing I do when I wake up is build business cards. That's the very first thing I do every single day. Every single day. Why does anyone quit spending money on marketing? Can anybody, can anybody tell me why someone will quit spending money on marketing? Anybody? It didn't work. That's right. It didn't work. Does anybody know why marketing, there, there's two reasons marketing strategies fail. The first one is, is the business owner buys it, but doesn't implement it. Okay. The second reason is, is the person that sold him to, sold it to him, did not teach him how to implement it. Therefore, he did not know how to do it. Therefore, they stopped doing it. Uh, Kenny Dunn said, not spending money on marketing to save money is like stopping the clock to save time. I can't remember who said that. Thomas Jefferson or somebody, I think. Uh, I, I've seen said that. Uh, but, but it is so true. So, so true. And, 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 and uh, I saw it. You guys are scrolling across the street so fast. Somebody said not enough budget. I, I'm going to tell you right now, if somebody doesn't have a budget for marketing, they need it worse than ever. They need it worse than ever. And they can go to the, you, you can market to the wrong people. Coupons, you can't market to the wrong people because everybody uses them. You know, coupons are very important. But I'm going to tell you right now, when I see people turn off texting, I can promise you it's your fault. And the reason it's your fault is because you did not do the things that I talked about. That, that I probably didn't teach you at the beginning of this training. So now that you know, there shouldn't be an excuse. You've got to get out there and you've got to help them build their list. You've got to build your list. And what a great way to practice. If you don't have texting, and I'm going to start looking. I'm going to start emailing you. If you don't have texting on your app, okay, you need to get texting. Spend $15 at the end of training. Get texting so you know how it works, and I want you to go out tomorrow, attach it to your directory, and start asking people to sign up for your coupon program. If you'll go do that for the next three days, what's today, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, if you'll go do that for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, you'll get 40, 50, 60, maybe 100 people on your list. What can you do on Monday? If you go do that Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, what can you go do on Monday? And please don't tell me you can't do something, especially after the way I started this training. What can you do on Monday if you have a list of 50, 60, 70, 100 people? That's right. You can go out and start selling coupon apps all day long because you have a ready-made market for every single person. Absolutely. So there is no more excuses. You know what? Christy Brown touched my heart so big to that, I don't even have any more excuses, and I'm full of them. I'll tell you all the secrets you don't know. I'm truly lazy. <laughs> I really am. <laughs> I've been sitting on my butt for so long working from a computer, I'm kind of lazy. But I know how to make money, so that makes up for it. But they quit spinning because you did not train them. You have got to do the things I said at the beginning of this training in order to be successful. And they get no results. Would you spend money on something if you get no results? We do all the time. If I don't get any results, I go get my money back. I'm pretty good about that. Why no results? They had no help. If you have no results, you have no help. 
This is extremely important to remember. Does everybody see that? I want you to make sure. Since we're in election season, I'm going to make this red, white, and blue. They had no help. You got to help them. You have to help them. Questions and answers. Anybody? Yeah, tattoo it on your head. That's right. Only one person to blame is yourself. If somebody fails, the only person you have to blame is yourself. Good night, Diego and Janine. I need some chocolate chip cookies. Y'all have a wonderful evening. It's always good. Yes, I will enjoy that ice cream tonight. My mouth is watering right now. Any questions at all? Any questions? Nope, $99 a month. Get some a coupon app and starts them off on their texting. Remember, fifty dollars for the fifty dollars for the uh, texting. Your net on that is twenty five dollars because you're going to start them off on the thousand text plan a month. Okay, start them off on the thousand text plan a month because you're going to get out there and you're going to help them build that list. And then the coupon, the first coupon is forty nine dollars. Oh, shut up, Kenny Dud. Kenny Dud said he's having homemade cinnamon rolls. Take care, Tom. Any more questions? $99 a month starts them off. One coupon a month. Now, you need to let them know also you are going to be marketing for them. You're going to market for them weekly anyway. Weekly. Pick the day that you're going to send out your blast. Uh, I got a blast today from Clovis, New Mexico. Pick the day that you're going to send your blast out. Do, this, do it every week at the same time. Set it, set it up automated. Any more questions? Anything I need to clarify about tonight's training? I want to thank Christy Brown, first and foremost, for the inspiration of my life that she posted tonight. <laughs> Girl, you put the fire in me. But uh, God bless you, Christy, for all you do, for your hard work. And I know, you, I know your family loves you to death. And so do we. So does your IEW family. You do an awesome job, girl. Awesome, awesome job. Awesome job. Those videos are killer. Anybody else? I'm going to enjoy them hot dogs tonight. Yep, I will. What is a good sign-up incentive message? <clears throat> you want to get with your get with your client. It, it, you know, if they could get you know 10% off right now, people like to sign up and get something immediately. So you know, maybe maybe if they sign up right now, they can get 10% off or 5% off or uh, buy one get one. Everybody loves a bogo sale. So if, if, if they're in that business to where they can do it, and everybody can, there's always something that they need to get rid of. You know, buy, buy a necklace, get a pair of earrings, that kind of thing. So BOGO sales, uh, discount, immediate discounts, you know, 10% off signing up for signing up today. As soon as they sign up, what happens? It kicks it back and they get 10% off. Absolutely, Jimmy. So did that did that answer you, Jacques? You want to you know you like to give everybody an incentive, and the biggest incentive you can give it give someone is money back in their pocket. That always helps. Buy one dip, get two dips. Thought I was talking about my own family there for a moment. Buy one dip, get two dips. <laughs> Anybody else? I want to thank everybody for coming out tonight. I want to thank you for an awesome evening. I want to thank you for making it happen.
And I, I want to I wanna thank you most of all for just being you and making my Wednesday nights every single night. This is the greatest family I've ever been a part of. You guys are absolutely amazing. And what you do for me, I could never repay you in return. BK, I will talk to you tomorrow at 3 o'clock Eastern time. Awesome. Empowering African-American entrepreneurs around the world. <coughs> Y'all have a wonderful evening. God bless, and I will see you in the Facebook group.